whole new episode and a whole new product. And what do we have for today? It's none other than the Andy Cine A6 Plus camera monitor. It's a 5.5 inch touchscreen that supports 3D LUTs. And just by looking on the box itself here, right up top we have a histogram, peaking false color exposure, pixel pixel zoom in. So besides that, why wait even further and let's open this thing. So Andy Sene has a few accessories to get your monitor up and going. You first have this side bracket, which will allow you to do that swivel thing on the camera. That way you're able to either view yourself or just even tilt the angle, which is very nice. It's definitely a lot sturdier. On the A6 Lite, you would have a lot of play, a little bit of wiggle, which is not preferable. There's two ways to power this monitor. You can actually use the Sony battery or these Canon LPE6 batteries. Turn this on for the very first time. Boom, very similar to the A6 Lite. Of course, there is no signal, so we need to actually get a camera in here. I'm gonna plug in the HDMI, whip out the GH5, to turn on the camera, and there we go. Unlike the A6 Lite, this has an entirely different layout. On the left side, if we swipe down, we can dim or brighten the screen. Wow, welcome to the 21st century monitors. That's huge. And on the right, we'll control volume. Now again, if you're not a big fan of touchscreen and you don't want to get smudges on your camera, this uh, the scroll wheel is actually pretty nice too. One notable feature about this monitor is its ability to preview LUTs. So when you are shooting in vlog, sometimes you don't want to view in vlog, especially when you have clients around, they may freak out. And to do that, let's go into the settings and here you can turn it on and off. And what's really cool is you can import your own LUTs using the SD card, but they already have some built-in preview ones. So there's Vlog, which I'm shooting in right now, um, but they have S-Log2, S-Log3, Log C for RE camera. So if you're going way out with that. To my eye, it looks pretty close to what the GH5 is displaying. You can preview your footage, shoot as normal, get an idea of what it's gonna look like, but all this time you're shooting nice, gradable Vlog. Now, some of you are going to be using this for a YouTube setup, whether you're just trying to see yourself as you're filming a YouTube video, or maybe you're a very ambitious vlogger. You can flip this thing around and now you can see yourself, but there's one problem. It's still flipped. So unfortunately that's not fixed as I wish it was. I do wish if you just flip that, it would do it automatically. So I have to figure out how you do that. If you want a quick way to change the orientation of your screen, you can actually utilize the menu bar by swiping up. This is, gives you quick access to some selected settings. So we can actually change any of these here by double pressing and you can scroll through and add any menu item. So I recommend having flip vertical that way when we swipe up, we can just flip that on. That way it gives you quick and easy controls. Another accessory that is really beneficial if you use a GH5 or the likes, get rid of that, is a dummy battery. And this thing will actually power, the monitor itself and this battery will power your camera. That way you only need to bring one type of battery when you're out shooting. That's gonna last much longer than the built-in batteries. Now, a important thing is if you wanna check focus, typically on the GH5, I'll use this little crop thing and I can zoom in and grab focus like so. Well, on the monitor, it's actually pretty simple. You can just pinch to zoom in and this will actually just scale it up a bit more. So it's much more intuitive over the silly old little buttons you have to press all over the top here, which is really archaic. But the question remains, is it dope or is it nope? It's dope. It's dope. <laughs> what can I say about it? I mean, it's, it's pretty fantastic of a monitor. It's not much more expensive than light, but I think it has a lot more features that make it more enjoyable, especially the little things like fixing the mount, adding the touchscreen, there's all things that make it a more premium of a product. So that being said, hope you guys enjoy this video and peace.